Community First, 98.5 CKWR. Welcome to Coral Rocks. And this week on the show, I'm so excited. <laughs> I have the one and only Danny Bailey with me in the studio. And we are going to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we are gonna. We got a lot of stuff going on. We, um, Danny's got lots to talk about. He's got great stories, and he's got lots of news about Devo. So if you're a Devo fan, you're gonna want to stay tuned. And stay tuned anyway. Yesterday was Groundhog Day. How much do you love the movie Groundhog Day, Danny? You know what I mean. Um, I love uh, watching for the results. And I guess yesterday across the table, all of the uh, rodents didn't see their shadow. <laughs> So that's that's a good sign. But um, I, I saw the movie once, but I'm a huge Bill Murray fan as well. I mean, that guy just makes me laugh no matter what he does. And uh, but you you're a diehard. I'm a diehard. So here's a little bit from Groundhog Day, the again and again and again and again. And if you're a fan of the movie, the you know what happens next. <laughs> He's kind of stuck there. Phil Connors is stuck in uh, Poxitani, uh, Poxitani Corner. So um, when we were, when I was working at Far Out Flicks in the uh, the video store on Queen Street on Groundhog Day, we would just play the movie over and over and over and over again. So I'm a, yeah, I'm a huge fan of that movie. Um, and Chris Elliott's really funny as well. I love Chris Elliott and Harold Ramis. Like I, oh, I, you know, yeah, we've. Harold. There's if you go online, there's all kinds of forums about it. Like, how long is Phil actually there? <laughs> like how? And I, I'm going. Well, how many times does the clock strike six? So the one day, like you could do it. Well, you shouldn't do this, but you could do a drinking game. It's Every probably time, a, like, or a uh, frat kind of yeah. university course on it. Or something. Every time the the <laughs> clock strikes six, um, you could take a you could take a sip of something. So I I counted 150 times, but you know I I um yeah it's a it's a ritual for sure, and yeah they all everybody agreed. There is only one person that didn't agree, and it's not a groundhog; it's a lobster. Lucy, oh, the yes, lobster. Yeah. You're Glenn talking about that yesterday. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny, right? What the hell? I go, what does a lobster have to do with Groundhog Day? But apparently, she's in Nova Scotia, and she's you know she says, nope. There's gonna be six more weeks of winter, so we'll see if you know if you're into that. We'll see what happens. My but gosh, anyways, that's great. That's my little homage to Groundhog Day. So um, we've got a few things to talk about, and. Um, I we're later or earlier on this week. Um, I sell the. Um, I just saw that Howard Hasman had passed away in 2022, on January 29th. So we've got a we've got a we've got a Johnny Fever um, set to do. So we're going to get to that. But the the first thing, the next thing we're going to do is this band celebrated their its 20th anniversary um, just this week, and it's a local band called. Full length mirror, and it's Corey Williams and Wayne Bond, and a whole bunch of people, and they kind of sound like they kind of remind me of the Beatles meets Pink Floyd meets Led Zeppelin, and this is like I you know I found them online. I mean I have the album, I bought it on online. It it cost me a lot of money. You're, you can't get it anymore, but uh, I Colin Hunter reviewed it years ago in the record, and he just gave it a fabulous review. So here's Full Length Mirror, End of the End, ninety eight five CKWR. 98.5 CKWR. That's a full-length mirror, end of the end. 940 here on uh, Coral Rocks. I always get my radio shows mixed up. And I got Danny Bailey in the studio with me. So, Danny... Um, Danny rocking with Coral. Danny rocking <laughs> Danny rockin with Coral. Uh, so, um, uh, so now, um, we... Earlier on this week, we had a... Or I, I just... I had a, I had a revelation. I thought, you know what? Maybe I should... Um, because Howard has been passed away on January 29th, 2022. Johnny Fever. Johnny Fever. Um, Everybody wanted to be Johnny Fever that were in our business, right? I mean, even if you were a female, I think it was just so cool to be behind the microphone and yeah. spinning tunes, and uh, especially that era, yeah. you know, of uh, the uh, late 70s, early 80s, when music was, uh, you know, so alive back then as well. When I... The first show I ever did at CKWR, it was a Wednesday night. 
And the guy came in. I don't even know who was even training me, but I was. I had been working at the back door. So a guy named John Jeffers came up to the booth and said, like he was doing a show at CKWR back then uh, with my friend Lauren Elliott, and they called it Jeff and Reg Live from the Hedge. It was crazy. Anyway, he goes, ever thought of doing radio? I went, no. And then the next thing you know, I'm there on a Wednesday night. I have, there's only one slot. I, I'm midnight to three. So I go in there and he goes, okay. The guy goes, here's two turntables. And a microphone. And a microphone. <laughs> and I went, I, I went in there and I went, I was scared out of my, I was scared. So I went in there and I went, okay. <laughs> I was a fan of WKRP. Yeah, well, one of the stories that I actually have about WKRP back in uh, when it was in reruns, uh, Don Wilcox from CKCO TV, the program director, actually bought the rights to uh, play it on CKCO. So oh, man. every every night, uh, Monday through Friday, uh, WKRP played from five thirty until six p.m. Oh, and then of man. course at six p.m., then we went into the Scan News Hour, our news. Right. Anyway, back at in those days, I was a news editor along with Pete McCallum and a bunch of other guys, and and we'd have all these stories that we had to edit for the show right and we'd always be happy to meet our deadline and at five to to six you know we cranked up the end of the show all the time right. and played air guitar rocking out to the theme the closing music oh yeah because we we're just so happy that hey you know like our show's coming up we've got all our work done and we just start rocking out right um but we have the closing music that we did the air guitar for here and it was actually composed by a guy named, it was a Atlanta musician. Uh, his name was Jim Ellis. So if we could play that, and then I'll just tag on a little bit on uh, Jim. You know, the first word I ever said when I started Coral FM years ago was Booger. Here is the WKRP theme. That's a little bit of the WKRP end theme. So, Danny. You know what? The backstory to this excellent closing music is the fact that this musician, Jim Ellis, he had the music all set the day they were going to actually record it, but he didn't have any lyrics. So they're in the studio recording the closing music, and he's just singing gibberish. It means <laughs> oh. nothing. It no, Nothing was written. But the producer of the show loved the fact that oh, it was a comedy show anyway, right? And most of the time back on CBS when it aired, the announcer would come over to the end of the the music or on the music on the end of the show saying, stay tuned, coming up, 60 minutes or whatever. So he said, let's go with the gibberish. So, yeah, the lyrics mean nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. And uh, Howard Hessman actually won an Emmy twice. Uh, 1980 and 1981 for you know playing Johnny Fever and you're right everybody wants to be Johnny Fever so um, I Glenn in the mornings I honest to <laughs> God sometimes I I just I I kill myself laughing I'm like you got I what did he just say like it's it's so much fun yeah and being behind the mic is is so much fun but uh, we're gonna play a little bit of a like one of the songs or one of the bands that really um, that that WKRP brought. Uh, brought to light was Blondie and uh, this song, Heart of Glass. You're listening to Coral Rocks with the one and only Danny Bailey on 98.5 CKWR, babies. 98.5 CKWR, that's the Rolling Stones and Light. 9.52 here on Coral Rocks and my very special guest in the studio is Danny Bailey. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so we've got some songs to play from, you brought in a really cool disc drive. So tell me about the next song we're going to play, because this is pretty cool. Well, uh, back in cool. the uh, the late 80s, uh, local friends that uh, we went to college with uh, had a band called the Supreme Bag Team. Yeah. And uh, independent. They put out their own album. Uh, they were on the compilation albums of, uh, if you were call Og Records. It came from yes. Canada. Yes, I and have it, that stuff. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> the bag team were on that. They were on uh, Music Plus, uh, Much Music, um, CFNY would play their music. Anyway, I brought two tracks uh, uh, from them. 
Uh, the first is their cover of Goo Goo Muck. Yeah. Just remade popular again by the show Wednesday. Yes. And followed by a little tribute to Gordon Lightfoot, If You Could Read My Mind, which apparently Gordon had heard and gave it a thumbs up. Unlike... And if you, get a, if you get a chance, go on YouTube, look up Supreme Bag with two Gs, Team, If You Could Read My Mind. It'll blow your mind of all the Canadian images that Mike Syke, the lead singer, cut together for that actual song music video. So uh, just going to say a shout out to Sean Crockard and Claude Barnes as well from the band. And here we go with Goo Goo Buck from the Supreme Bag Team on CKWR. Putting community first since 1973. We are 98.5 CKWR. And this is Coral Rocks and my very special guest, Danny Bailey. So, Dan, this is so, this, uh, we've got some excitement. We're, we're going to, we're going to talk Devo here. Sure. Um, let me just give you a quick background. Of course, they are an art rock band from the uh, 70s, celebrating their 50th anniversary yes. this year. Can yes. Yes. believe it? Yes. Um, and uh, most people know them from their song, Whip It, or the Red Dome hats that they would wear. Uh, quirky, great music videos, um, probably had more music videos ready, uh, than any other band when MTV first went to the air. Yeah, you know, I'm not surprised. Devo was the first band that got so much airplay on MTV. But anyway, so they're still together. They just toured, uh, Scandinavia and then followed that up by a, a tour to Australia. Oh, wow. Okay. And they've been playing U.S. Uh, dates as well. And, um... As far as new news about the band, there was a documentary just uh, premiered a couple of weeks ago or last week at uh, the uh, Sundance Film Festival. Um, <clears throat> director uh, Chris Smith, who directed uh, American Movie, um, the Fire Island documentary right. about the concert. Yes. And as well, Tiger King. Oh, he man. He was chosen to produce the new Devo documentary, which just... Uh, premiered and uh in sundance devo actually played the next night they did a whole show and then they went from there to uh new york where they um they were showing all the restored devo videos they got a hold of um peter conheim from right? a band named negative land oh i love if that have, i have that and on anyway cassette. yeah and so he actually worked a long time restoring all of their films, just trying to get the negatives and right. and everything together. Uh, so they just presented that at the uh, Museum of Modern Art last week. Oh, that's incredible. Yeah, and um, it's, the, the band hasn't released any new music, but individuals have. And Jerry Casale, the bass player and, uh, you know, yeah, yes. creator of, of Devo, um, has just released uh, an album. And uh, one of the tracks on it's called uh, Pay You Back. I'm going to pay you back. Okay. And long story short, he just did a music video for this, and it's cutting-edge 4D technology where there's 360 degrees of scanners that actually scan your body, and then they can manipulate your body into any scene or uh, any place in, in space that are virtual reality right um and the new apple goggles they just announced right i mean that gives you an idea of what you can actually you know See. look forward to yes. as far yeah. as reacting to this new technology and anyway if you go on youtube um gerald casali i'm gonna pay you back right lounge that's where you'll see this video. And it is, and you, you know what? I mean, if you had the tools, you could be totally immersed in the actual video. Well, Walk that's... around with the characters, dance, do whatever. So um, anyway, long story short, he did this music video. Uh, I'm going to pay you back with uh, Josh Freeze. Okay. From Foo Fighters, who's uh, replaced uh, Taylor. Yes. Hawkins? Yeah, Taylor yeah. Hawkins, yes. And uh, Steve Bartek from Oingo Boingo. Oh. So, I mean, <laughs> this is the little trio that you've got. Jerry Casale, Steve, and then Josh as well. Just as and, whack. And just, uh, you know what, um, the latest technology for making music video uh, for sure. So 
what we're going to hear is we're going to hear a track by a gentleman out of Moncton, New Brunswick, named Jeep Jones. Okay. And Jeep actually created this lounge version, which we're going to hear, okay. of I'm Going to Pay You Back by Jerry Castalli. Okay. You're listening to Coral Rocks with uh, my fabulous guest, Danny Bailey. Here's Jeep Jones. 98.5 CKWR Jeep Jones. I'm going to pay you back. Coral Rocks with my very special guest, Danny Bailey. So I'm a, I was just telling Danny off the air, I'm a huge Devo fan. And when I was working at the back door, I'd always play the Devo anthem first. The Devo corporate anthem. The corporate anthem. And then I would play And then I would play um, Smart Patrol and Mr. DNA. And I used to love Gate um, Gates Freedom. Of Steel. Yeah, yeah, Gates of Steel. And sure. I remember when Ron Winslow worked down there, he would um, he would just put on, uh, like he was electric tax, right? And he he's playing Devo and Fat Gadget and all this stuff. He would just put on a side of Devo and go out in the parking lot because the whole side was amazing. Like that whole that whole realm of music, you could just listen to it all night, or we did. Well, I was really influenced a lot by Devo, creatively yeah. and, uh, you know, yes. visually. And anyway, uh, I played a lot of, with... Um, I don't know if you remember a uh, um, software package called Acid. Uh, no. And where you took wave loops and you could make your own music and cut it together. And as a video editor, I mean, I always loved cutting together even audio. And right. so this is a song called The Master Plan that I put together. And this is a premiere for the song to ever play on radio. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Ladies and gentlemen, this is DJ Danny. Danny Ray, is this you? That's me. All right. 98.5 CKWR, that is DJ Danny Ray. Oh, thanks for playing that. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> That's a premiere on Coral Rocks. Well, we've got some more music to play as well. So we're going to, we got Danny's, we got some of Danny's playlist here. There's a, there's a, there are a couple songs that I wanted to play. I don't know, they're on my, they're on my iPod. Um, and I just thought it might be kind of fun to bring them and play them here. So I'm a big fan of William S. Burroughs. And my show, I have another show, like it's a, on another radio station, and it's called Interzone because that is the working title of his song, of his book, Naked Lunch. And um, in the 80s, I kind of discovered the Dial of Poets through John Journal. Uh, and uh, he was working with Laurie Anderson and William S. Burroughs and Frank Zappa. And uh, so I just, I kind of went, wow, this is like spoken word with music and it's kind of stream of consciousness type stuff. So um, I really got into it. And so this kind of stuff is on my iPod. So here's, um, I saw Laurie Anderson in concert. I've seen her a couple of times. I saw her in Massey Hall. Uh, yeah. Oh, Superman. Maybe, oh, oh. yeah, maybe it was Massey Hall. She was fantastic. Yes. And, and, she, and uh, she married Lou Reed. Too, I know. Right? I mean, yeah. I'm thinking, well, that's a that's a perfect combination right there. Um, she was at Perimeter Institute a little while back as well. And that was a really interesting night. And I, I was just fascinated by her. I, she, I had her book of postcards and I got her to sign it. I didn't have a chance to interview her. It just didn't work out. But just meeting her and saying hello was something else, and the people that she's worked with. So this is um, this is a great combination. It's a Sharky's Night, William S. Burroughs and Laurie Anderson on Coral Rocks. 98.5 CKWR, that's Sharky's Night. And, great to hear that song. And uh, I got Danny Bailey here in the studio with me. Yeah, I, I love Laurie Anderson. So should we play a little bit of Laurie Anderson? What do you think? You want to play some Laurie Anderson? I've got a, well... Because I'm a writer and I, I really like this song a lot, um, uh, it is, well, it's about language. Language is a virus from another planet. Here is Laurie Anderson, 98.5 CKWR, Coral Rocks. 98.5 CKWR, Laurie Anderson, language is a virus from another planet. So... Danny, we're going to go back to your playlist for a second here. Yeah, you know what? I thought, uh, here's a tune that you hardly hear. I think I was introduced to it on CFNY ah. um, years ago. Um, and I believe that they were discovered initially by the Tragically Hip. Okay. From Kingston. Um, 
and they're called the Grand Balancing Act. No. Nope. No. Love Storm. No. <laughs> New music. No. Weeping Tile. Yes, the Weeping <laughs> Tile. Sarah Harmer. Oh yes, of course. Right? Yeah. And this is a song uh, that they had. They did opened for the Hip many times uh, during their career, and uh, the song is called "UFO Rosie." On CKWR. 98.5 CKWR. That's we- that <laughs> That's Danny Bailey's with me in the studio, and uh, that's Weeping Tile. So that's Sarah Harmer, right? That's her. Yeah, the opening. Yeah. That's great. Um, you Thanks for bringing in such great music. Hey, thanks for having me. This is so much fun. So what's next? What are you up to next? What are you doing next? What am I doing next? Well, yeah. things are really kind of slow, you know, during my uh, early months of the year, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I am working on a film, I have been for quite a while now, called 88 Films. Okay. And to make a long story short, I bought, purchased 88 Super 8 films, all like home movies, all right. shot by one person whose name and address were on the boxes. And Sight Unseen have decided to put a movie together, a fictitious movie together with found footage. Oh, man. That so sounds great. everything is it. You know what? Um, the eighty-eight films are three minutes long, and uh, the subject matters are, are crazy. It's like bullfighting in Spain, New York <laughs> City, Jamaica. I mean, all these. So, needless to say, there is some usable footage in. All That's of amazing. Music. Well, you know what? Thanks so much for joining me, Danny. I really appreciate it. That is Coral Rocks. That's Coral Rocks for this week. Thanks to Danny Bailey for joining me in the studio. Just uh, tonight on the Lost Indie City, if you're into songs from Scotland, join Pete Fowler and Greg Secord, Greg Secord for the Lost Indie City from 6 to 8 tonight. Coming up next, it is Cora Cool with the Fangirl Frequency right here on 98.5 CKWR. I'm going out for coffee and some Baileys.